the championship with a 66 points to 12 win at Hunslet. And now they've beaten Wigan. Play just as a convincing score. 32 points to 18 for Wigan. Martin Afaya, scorer of three tries this afternoon. The player that the Wigan fans and coach said could not play. Well, he's answered them in the best possible way with three superb tries. Mackenzie. He's had a big say in this second half revival with some good strong kicks into the Wigan territory. The ball thrown back to Davis. Dips round one player, kicks it down towards the 25. No heroics now. And at last a kind bounce for Witness. Everything going for Witness here. Good luck on the Witness coach. Leaves the bench on the far side to make his way down the touchline. to scrum down then just inside the Wigan 25 Jed Byrne has it for Wigan now Hanley but there's no way through for Hanley Witness will not let that go and the Hooter goal and Witness have emphatically retained the Stones Bitter Championship well the Wigan coach said that witness were the nearly men how right he was he just got the name of the team wrong it was Wigan he meant they nearly won the championship but they didn't witness playing some quite superb play in the second half piling on the tries and there is no question who are the team of the moment you can win the cups because when you win the cups there are all sorts of things that are sort of Relaying to win the Cups, people getting sent off, shall we say, bad bounces of the ball, and what have you. But at a championship, there is no argument. 26 games you play, and the team that wins the most games over that period are the champions without question. There is no argument to that fact. And the fans now swarm onto the field as the teams, when they can do make their way up the tunnel to be presented with the Stones Bitter Championship Trophy. In my opinion, nobody's done more this afternoon than the witness captain himself, Kurt Sorensen. Come back from that bad injury he had just after Christmas. And has really, today, had a superb leading game for witness. The fans now milling onto this Norton Park field. Most of them obviously witness supporters, one or two Wigan fans, but those people in the main making their way to the exit. Tony Myler before he had that injury against Salford earlier in the year and who knows if Tony Myler hadn't been injured what more this side could have done not to forget young Dave Myers who came in here as well and for a 17 year old in the few games he's played for Witness he looks to have a bright future Barry Dowd and Dave Marsh all these lads have played the part of course Derek Pike who played so well during those cup runs and for me well to be honest with you during the cup runs that took us to the semi-final nobody had a bigger part to play than Derek Pike Kurt Sorensen then the witness captain comes up into that stand at the far side of the field from the witness players up there Kurt Sorensen being presented with the championship trophy and the witness fans celebrate in style and it could not have been a more sweeter success this afternoon than to beat Wigan 
even giving them a 12 points to four lead and having a man sent off they still in the end well really ran away with the game each witness player then in turn here will lift the cock a lot to roars of approval from the witness fans but witnesses season is perhaps not finished yet they will move on now towards perhaps another glorious double the premiership now will be there to be taken witness will have a home tie next week and then after Wembley a semi-final home draw as well if they can win next Sunday and what a superb finish to the season that would be if they could win the double again as I say each player holding the cup aloft and the fans milling round that goalpost end and in fact now cheering their team on to the chance of champions champions so it all came good for witness in the end then anybody as i said who came here this season watching witness has been grossly entertained and possibly if they hadn't have won this championship it would have only been the players that would have missed out because the fans certainly haven't missed out no no set of fans have been as entertained as much as the witness fans this season but in the end, a trophy, and the most major trophy of all, perhaps, comes back to Norton Park. With the final scoreline then of Witness 32, Wigan 18, we leave the fans and the players alike to celebrate a second successive championship for Witness. time for us really but uh, I, I don't think you know anybody you know who's come from Wigan today you know could fault any one of the players you know they give the uh, you know they really you know they are disappointed in the team I've just left them and uh, but you know we've got to kick on we've got you know the premiership to look forward to and we've got like also we've got Wembley so I think uh, there'll be a few you know down tonight but uh, come to Wigan on Tuesday I think there'll be a few you know we'll be picking ourselves up again. The only disappointing incident in the game was the sending off of the Mosa Coloto and really you know it was only one small blight in an otherwise perfect afternoon for rugby league. It was yeah you know witness was uh, I think it was winning at the stage I think it was like 28-12 or something and you know Wigan were coming back into the game I, you know, I could not you know I couldn't believe it you know from where I was sat you know, like basically in front of us you know where I was sat and I couldn't believe you know exactly what he went in with you know there's no need you know like uh, Ian Potter, you know, I mean, one, like, one of the quietest lads, you know, good at grafting, man. But, you know, uh, I think W, you know, I think W will give him a, a talking to you, because, like, it could have, uh, you know, cost him deal, you know, but I mean, it's a good sign, you know, the tactics. Okay, that's fine, over to you. Come on, you've got it now. Okay,